The Mexican countryside, majestic and beautiful. At the same time, rugged and inaccessible. In short, a challenging place to build a natural gas pipeline. The 235-kilometer Tamazanchali extension pipeline stretches across mountainous slopes, with half of the route straddling the Trans-Mexican Volcanic Belt. On the 50-degree slope affectionately dubbed Waterloo, a three-tower cable crane safely hoists up to eight tons of steel pipe and construction materials. When the terrain and soil conditions raise stability issues for a conventional buried pipeline, it's decided to go through the mountain rather than around it. A remote-controlled tunnel boring machine and pipe jacking system carves a path to the other side. The 672 meter long micro tunnel is a first for a Mexican pipeline and a first for Trans Canada. <laughs> Weather was also a significant challenge. 600 millimeters of rain in just one month, including two hurricanes at the same time Ingrid in the Gulf Coast, Manuel on the Pacific side. And then there were significant archaeological finds the base of a pyramid, an ancient settlement. In all, 53 historic sites were identified, seven of which requiring a route adjustment. The experience and lessons learned by the Thomas and Charlie Extension Project will benefit other North American projects. Cable cranes and micro-tunneling techniques are being considered in upcoming projects in Western Canada and Mexico, where other options would take significantly longer and with a higher safety hazard exposure.